Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you the surveillance station functionality on a Synology NAS and for that I'm going to use this D-Link IP web camera. This is a wireless camera. The model name is DCS930L and this is compatible with the Synology NAS. So what we are going to do is we're going to install this ca uh, camera using the surveillance station and this is the cam actual camera itself and now I'm going to show you how to install the surveillance station and access this IP camera. Again, no do note that uh, just check with your Synology NAS documentation uh, to figure out how many IP cameras are supported with your unit. And now we're going to set up the surveillance station and set up that D-Link uh, IP camera. And the first thing we do is log into our Synology NAS. I'm using the DS. 412 plus unit for this demo but this uh, will be applicable for any model of Synology NAS and we are using the DSM 4 version and the first thing you do is you need to install the surveillance station if you haven't installed it already just go to the packet center and install the same and now I'm going to go to the surveillance station and here we need to use this option and we are going to add a camera and we get this camera setup wizard and I suggest that you use the complete setup option and here we are going to give the name I'll name it as D-Link cam and you need to give the IP address of the camera I have set it to this address and from here we need to select the brand for us it's the D-Link and also select the correct model name ours is the DCS 930L and I'm going to select the same and also as this is an IP camera you need to enter the password what you had set and you hit this test camera option and if everything is working correctly you should get the video feed and this is the feed that I'm getting that's correct this is showing my AV room and I hit the next button and here you can configure the options I'm going to leave it at the default uh, this camera also supports 640 by 480 but I'm going to keep it to just uh, 320 by 240 and here we can set up further options and I'm going to just hit next and here I'm going to select all the options and I just want to record only when there is motion detection. I do not want to record continuously just waste of uh, space and I'm going to hit next and we go to hit finish. And now our camera is actually set up there's just one more thing that you need to set up just go to the advanced option and here we need to uh, set up the motion detection and we hit the detection area and we just hit this add option and now i'm going to add a area where in this area if somebody something changes it will start recording and i'm going to name it the door so if anybody comes through the door it is going to start recording and i just hit the save and close this now motion detection has been set up and now I'm just going to walk in that area and it should uh, start recording it It should have recorded uh, because I just went into that motion detected area and if I go to the timeline and we just need to select our camera area this is the same and select the date that's today's date and today's time and you see if you notice we have some uh, recordings over here and if I just scroll here you should see the I went into this area and the camera picked it up so that's how you do motion detection on the same one little con that I have is that uh, though this dealing camera that I'm using supports even audio recording but the audio was not recorded in this feed also you need to check out with Synology uh, on how many cameras are supported with your unit. Uh, by default you only get one free license with every Synology NAS. So if you want to add multiple cameras you need to purchase additional licenses from Synology. By default the surveillance station can support multiple cameras and multiple recordings. So if you want to do complete surveillance of your small office or home you can easily do this with the Synology surveillance station. I hope you found this video helpful. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video.